right, everybody, welcome back. Thanks for coming back a little early so we can reclaim some of the time for the afternoon. Uh, today, uh, Gerardo Vivier is going to lead us off from the RIPE NCC. He's going to give us an overview of uh, perhaps the most valuable asset that your company has, its IP addresses, how to obtain, manage, and protect them. Hello, hello. I never use a microphone unless it's karaoke night. So <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> and uh, let me see if I get this right. Du Naiden. Is that correct, Turkish? Du Naiden. Good afternoon. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's great to see some of you again. Uh, my name is Gerardo Vivier, and I work at the RIPE NCC in the Training Services Department. I'll be presenting on behalf of our COO, Andrew De La Haye, who unfortunately couldn't make it. But he's going to see this presentation, so uh, make sure to say I did a good job in case he asks, okay? I'm going to talk about obtaining, managing, and protecting IP addresses. And uh, these are exciting times that we're living, and I have some exciting things to tell you. First of all, let's begin with the stuff that dreams are made of, getting IP addresses. Getting an IPv4 allocation from the RIPE NCC has never been more simple to do. The problem is that all you can get is limited by the RIPE community policies to one slash 22 block. That's 1,024 IPs. Right now, the IPv4 pool that we have, the available IPv4 pool, it's, uh, you can find this graph online, uh, it consists of the last slash eight block that we got, the 185 slash eight, which is that dark green sliding chunk underneath. On top of that, you can see a light blue uh, section. Uh, that is the reserved address space that we have. There's a slash 16 reserved for unforeseen circumstances. There's a block reserved for IXPs. And the other block in between that you see growing a little bit over time, and you're thinking, what's that? Something is growing in IPv4? The pool is growing? No. Actually, this is just recovered IPv4 space that Diana gets, uh, gathers in bunches of five equal portions, and then distributes to the five RERs across the world. So what you see there uh, looks like our pool is maintained at the same level, but it's actually just being by, uh, filled by with the IANA blocks. From the region here, the MENOG region, you can see all the countries in the graph underneath. There are many LERs that have already received their last slash 22. And you can see here that the number of members usually is more than the amount of blocks, except in one country, that's in Iran, and that difference is because there's a couple of LARs who have transferred slash 22s from other LARs into their registry. So it looks like there's a lot more slash 22s in Iran than there should be, but that's perfectly normal. Now let's leave the legacy proto protocol behind and talk about what's happening in IPv6. To get an IPv6 allocation, it's really easy. All you have to do is become a member of the RIPE NCC, and you just have to show a plan for making assignments within the next two years. And if you think, um, I'm, I don't plan to give it to my customers yet, that's not a problem. All you have to do is have a plan, for example, to test IPv6 on your network to see how it works, and you already qualify for an allocation. The smallest block we can give you is a slash 32. We can't give you anything smaller than that for an allocation. But you can get up to a slash 29, which is eight times a slash 32, with no additional documentation. So you just tell us, I want a slash 29. Bam, you got it. If you have a really large network with hundreds of thousands or even millions of customers or services, you can actually justify a larger block by making a good addressing plan and sending it to us, and we'll evaluate it and give you the block that you need. For people who are non-members and they don't want to become an LAR, they can request a PI assignment through an LAR. In the MENA region, the amount of LERs in each country, as you can see, is almost the same as the amount of IPv6 allocations that we made. So the ideal situation would be if the 